Welcome back to the garage folks, Grim here, and today we're going to go over some more trade table leftovers. By that I mean, if you haven't joined me before, these are items that are left over from bulk lots I've purchased online for, or from local trades, and these are things I did not open from my private collection, then it will go to the local trade table for trade or sale and I figured we would showcase them before they disappeared because whether I want them or not someone else may want them uh, we've got some Jada Nano Hollywood rides we've got some Matchbox collectors uh, what are these? Jax Jax Sonic car characters Hot Wheel character cars, Overwatch series, Matchbox moving parts, and some Tomicas. So we're going to start off with the Jada, or Jada, however you like to say it, Nano Hollywood Rides. This being the Back to the Future set. Now this is Jada's take on... Uh, they're, they're almost like micro machine size. I'd say they're a little bigger and way better. Uh, they're metal, whereas all the micro machines that I've seen now are, are like 100% plastic, I believe. I may be wrong. It may, and it may be a nostalgia failing me, but I could have swore there were a couple that had some metal in them in the original releases back in the day I don't know but I already have this set for myself I do like this I do have it and I have it open so this is a copy for the table now let's go over Matchbox Collector Series this is the 2015 Jaguar F-Type Coupe number four in the series of 20 for 2021 um the only one i was really interested in for the series was the honda pickup which i did get and there's an extra one here that we're going to go over uh i didn't care for any of the others in fact this one and one other one, I'm not sure which one. Maybe this one? Definitely this one. Which is right here. There's plenty full. In my local targets. Uh, these sat on the shelf for quite a while. So I believe this is going to sit in my collection for a while. And unfortunately this is one of two. I do have a second one for trade as well. There's no point in showing me two packages. But for those who are interested in Jaguars, I don't know, it's kind of early 90s, I would think. Even though it's 2015, the coloring. Um, red with orange and black pinstriping. Black top. Lots of nice tempo I mean it is collector series with the nice rubber tires on those and it's not bad not too bad I don't like Jaguars myself colors are okay for me tomato tomato everybody has a thing And the other Matchbox collectors. The 6300 T360. Which is my favorite of this lineup. And this is a copy. That's why it's a for trade. I have one of my own. Uh, the hood opens up. Revealing. Uh, engine and spare tire. I don't know how they work that out 
But when you open the hood, the headlights stay in place. It works out. It, it's just very satisfying mechanical toy. And it feels good rolling around. It's very nice. Next, let's go over these jacks. Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, I had received a case of these in a trade. Sealed box. There's four. So there was these three plus one extra, which was a duplicate of Sonic. I'm not familiar with these. I don't know anybody who collects these. I just happen to have them from a bulk lock. So. And I have seen others advertised online and in the stores. Since then, they've released other characters. I guess this is the very first wave. I don't know if that is going to be significant to anybody that collects these. And the fact that all of them have this... Uh, I don't know if I get that to focus. There we go. This, uh, after the fact, added on stickers saying 30th anniversary. So I don't know if these would be substantial to anybody. Uh, not in my diecast world that I'm aware of. Tails. Whirlwind Sport. Sonic's a little sidekick. I am a gamer. Not a huge fan of Sonic series. If interested, my personal absolute favorite Sonic game is the first Sonic Adventure for the Sega Dreamcast, 1999. And we're gonna finish that off with Dr. Eggman. In the Egg Booster, uh, which, I don't recall if I remember him being called Dr. Eggman. He's Dr. Robotnik, and a cruel nickname is Eggman. I don't think I've heard the conglomeration of Dr. Eggman before. Not quite clear, but that's my opinion. Anyway. Matchbox moving parts. Alright. 2020 BMW M4 Cabriolet. Convertible. Red interior. I don't know what you call that finish. I call it pearlescent white. Or iridescent white. That fine sparkle finish to it. Uh, not a fan, so... Here it is on the table. Um, trying to think. There was one or two in this series that I did keep for myself. Oh, uh, I believe a Monte Carlo was one of them. And there was one for a newer series that came after this that I haven't found yet. It's a, a green pickup truck with a tilting bed. I think it's a Jeep pickup truck, actually some type of model I've never witnessed before. So I, I'm very intrigued by it. And the other moving parts. Mazda 2021 MX-30 which is another one I unfortunately have a duplicate for available for trade. I have two of these. Um, another one of those I would call Ice Blue uh, almost bluish gray. 
These are all from the same series. Current 2022. This one being number 4 of 50. And Hot Wheels Overwatch character series. Uh, I am a gamer, but I'm not an FPS, aka first person shooter kind of gamer. I'm not much of an online gamer, to be honest with you. I'm an old school gamer. I like I like single player scary games, I'm like I'm playing a horror movie. Anyway. My daughter's a fan, so I'm slightly aware of some of these characters. I've bought figures for my daughter based on this. Um, I do really like the color colorization of this vehicle based on the character. This being Diva, one of my daughter's favorite characters. Um, I, like I said, it's the colorizations. Some of the J-pop-ishness to it, the antennas. Little bunny logo. That is quite visually satisfying. Second one being Soldier Seventy Six. Got a black and blue motive here. Almost like an old racing car. I don't know. Would you say the Dodge-ish? And they're all fantasy models, but could take inspiration from somewhere. I said I'm not too familiar with the series, but I was gonna say this one is a little lackluster for me, as well as this one. Genji. Just really screams fantasy model. The colors are kind of cool though. We got like a slight off white. Like, um, uh, almond cashew color with a neon green, yellow, and I wouldn't say Zamac, just plain die cast. Well, oh good. That looks really interesting from the bottom. So technically, I'm pretty sure I have a whole set here plus. I say plus. So we'll go over that in the last figure. Uh, this one being Reaper, which I I think is my favorite model. Not because it's Reaper and I'm Grim, so they go together. By the way, my name's not Grim because of Grim Reaper, like I'm into death or anything. It's just, I've got natural resting bitch face. And I've always been into black and red motives. So I've gotten the moniker Grim back from the age of 15. grim situation although it's just visual it never pertained to my personality I think as I was saying I think this is my favorite model regardless of the name just because the black the red I think it has my favorite tires out of the whole six miles in the series I like the fact that they incorporated the pistols into the front fenders and the engine. I think it all works out pretty well. If I was a fan, that'd be my favorite. This one, Tracer, I believe was also one of my daughter's favorites. My older daughter. I have two. Uh, I think yeah, I think she was, this is one of her 
favorites as well. Um, kind of partial to it as well. I don't like any of these fantasy models per se. It's just colorized. This looks pretty cool. And I don't know what it is. I like kind of like that weird center turbine thing they got going on there. It looks kind of cool. The colors are really sick. I like the, uh, which is weird because 99% of my personal life, I did not like tans and browns and oranges. A lot of 70s screaming colors. Something snapped since I went past 40. I love everything 70s. I, I always loved most of the 70s. Music, cars, movies, especially horror movies. But a lot of things like the hair, clothes, the colors especially. I hated them. I'm starting to love the, co the, the colors. Uh, they look great on a lot of things. And the last one being Winston which was a late edition I found this one after the fact I had obtained these from a bulk lot I did buy this one myself from a local shopping market I'll just say that because I think it's pretty directly regional to my area but as you can see from the back of all other five of these show the five I had previously shown until we get to this one then there's all five plus him so it seems to be a late edition yep these say 2019 this one says 2020 and it has a 30th blizzard anniversary marking 2021 new model yep so I don't know if it's officially part of the set or not but uh, I believe I shot I'm, I'm pretty sure this showed up very soon right after the other ones and we will finish off this video with a pair of tonicas. Now, I don't see a lot of tonica love in our English diecast collecting communities, whether it be American, Australian, UK, Canadian. I don't see a lot of it. Um, I see it show up once in a while. Mostly I see it in uh, WTF4's videos he's got a few models and I have a couple of my own I'll show them in a later video not these I was not interested in these Nissans uh, but they are nice I have nothing wrong with Tommy because if they were more prevalent in my area I would buy more of them especially the play sets I want some of the play sets like the car dealerships I would really love to get a hold of those but I'm not a fan of the Nissan GTR, and basically this is the same car, just a civilian model in like a copper color, and a police issue. The other lights on top. Is that front fender any different? No, nope. nope. front fender is no different. Slightly colored. Yeah, the only difference is they added the light on top, other than the colorization. But I love my Tonicas. I've got, um, I think I only have three so far. But I've seen a lot online I would love to get a hold of. And with that, I would like to bid you all a very good night. And thank you for joining me. I'll have some nice things coming up soon. A lot of new pickups. You all have a very good night and pleasant dreams.